Hello, this is Kyle again with Kirksville Web Design and uh, Google Sites Web Design .blogspot .com. Uh, just want to do another Google Sites tutorial. Um, last time, if you saw episode one, I kind of just went through the basics of making a website, uh, giving it a title and seeing that it creates a URL and uh, choosing public private status and just kind of barely setting up things. So I'm going to start this one, this video, as I do most of my other ones. So uh, log in here to my Google account. Mm, let's see. Go to sites. Thanks. Uh, if you did watch my first video, please subscribe. Uh, I plan on doing at least one of these a week, if not more. And this is the website well, actually, I made a different website, but I already deleted that because I didn't want to do StarCraft 2. Uh, I wanted to do a bakery that my wife and a friend might be doing that's going to sell vegan baked goods. Anyways. Okay, so you can see here, um, basically I started off, I made a, made it this website with the theme Blank Slate. Uh, as you know, Google gives you many different types of schemes, uh, designs, themes to choose from, and Blank Slate is a very good one because it allows for transparency. But I'm not going to reiterate that whole thing. Um, if you go to my uh, uh, Goop, my blog, uh, it mentions there, and it uh, gives a little bit of a, a Google Sites tip as far as creating a background using Blank, blank Slate. It gives you some dimensions and uh, uh, how you can design a header and a background to incorporate your navigation as well uh, using the transparency of Blank Slate. So what I've done so far is uh, basically nothing but I've uh, at least enabled horizontal navigation. You can do that by going to more actions. You go to manage site. First I'm going to create some uh, other pages to populate this navigation with. So I'm going to go create page going to start making some pages here. Um, baked goods is a good topical uh, one to make at the top level here. That'll be easy. Uh, I'm going to just save this. I don't want to really edit anything yet. Uh, as I make each page, I usually go to page settings. I turn off all the uh, link to sub pages and attachments and comments. Really uh, comments are for collaborators and owners. I don't have any other than myself. Attachments, uh, there's a better way to incorporate attachments without doing this bottom attachments thing. And show links, again, I try to incorporate that into horizontal navigation. I think those are kind of obsolete. Okay, so I save it here. Uh, you'll see these go away. Uh, it's not a very doesn't have any height to it, so you can see this is like right in the middle of the page, but that'll, that'll be populated with content soon enough. Okay, continuing on, I'm going to create another page. Why don't I make a contact us page? That's the standard. Well, every website needs a contact us page, whether you call it contact or contact us, whatever. Okay, same thing. Save that page. Page settings. Uh, get rid of those, save, blah, 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 it's going to do it soon here. Okay, uh, and one more, I'll do an About Us page. Well, now just one other one popped into my mind. I'm going to add like a blog link. You'll see me do that, uh, linking at least, at least my wife's uh, vegan blog. Uh, maybe not about the bakery yet, but at least it... I'll sh I'll show you how to make a direct link in the in the navigation. Okay, again, saving that page, page settings, get rid of these bottom three, save. Okay, great. Uh, now I'm going to go over here to manage site. Your old standby manage site. Uh, go to site layout. And here you see this uh, configure search. I don't know when they put this in here, maybe uh, months ago, uh, to basically en enable a, a little uh, search bar in the top right uh, of, of your website. 
header. Uh, I don't like that. There's not, <laughs> there's not a lot of content to search through, I, I wouldn't think, in this bakery. Maybe, you know, some at some point I could do that. But I don't care for it right now. As you can see, I've enabled the horizontal navigation bar. I've deleted a, any sidebar because that I, I don't. I'm not going to make a sidebar navigation, so I don't need that restriction. That frees up a lot of space for you to use uh, using the full width of your of your website. And you can notice you can put ads and uh, in into a site that has more width to it. So that's a good uh, a good way to make uh, or monetize things. Okay, so I'm going to edit content of the navigation. Uh, I'm going to add a page. Why don't I add the about us? Why don't I add baked goods? And I'll add the final contact us. Very good. Uh, you can see these right and left arrow or up, down, right, left. A, B, start. No, I'm not playing Contra, Nintendo. Uh, sorry if you don't get that reference. Anyways, okay. Um, the up and down, that uh, determines the order that your links are going to appear from left to right. Uh, the right uh, and left is going to make, uh, as you see here, indent or outdent. <laughs> I didn't even know it was called outdent. Indent, uh, making that a subcategory of one of these... Uh, for instance, baked goods can be in the About Us category, and therefore it would be present in a drop-down box from the About Us. So you're, you're learning a bit about the horizontal navigation, which is also something that's kind of new. Oh, I didn't even make that blog page, did I? I totally didn't. Okay. Uh, go back. <laughs> Save changes. Create page. Because I wanted to show you guys that, so that's important. Now you could make a blog using this announcements type of page. Um, I plan on probably using that in a different capacity, but at least this will create a blog to a ex uh, exterior, uh, something like that, uh, an outside in inter inter site. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, create page top level blog. That's easy. Uh, what? Can I just make it a announcement page? Weird. Let me delete that and try again. I could just I don't know. Maybe I'm totally flipping out here. Blog. <laughs> Let's try this again. Web page. Very good. Create page. Yeah, I guess I did make that announcement. Okay. There you go. Sorry about that. Uh, again, save, again, page settings, again, click off these, sorry, um, this is monotonous, I guess, or repetitive at least. Um, I'm going to go back to manage site. Okay, site layout again. Okay, edit content of the horizontal navigation bar. You see here, add URL. Really, I didn't even notice that this did anything for a while, I was just kind of confused by it but it is handy. You get to display the text of, well, I want my tab or my link to say blog, and I want my URL to be http colon backslash backslash, uh, what is it? Kirksvillevegan.blogspot.com. That is her blog. So that, that becomes even a link. I'm going to put that, yeah, maybe I'll leave it there. Sometimes contact us is like the last thing you see on the right, but yeah, I don't know, whatever. And you can see here the style. Uh, boxes are just simply boxes with rounded corners. Tabs are, they have rounded corners at the top, and they kind of tab into the page. And links, it's just a link, but the cool thing about links is you can create, uh, you can create a box out of the hover, or this is the selected page or background. It has basically straight uh, edges, straight corners, right angles instead of the rounded ones. Just a little bit, a little different style. Pick whatever you want. Again, refer to my blog about uh, that's Google Sites Web Design .blogspot .com about uh, the layout because that horizontal navigation is actually 25 pixels high and you can 
create a background to utilize that height. It's good to know. It's a little tip there. Okay. Um, save. Come on. Let's see how I'm doing on time. Oh, I did not stop. Start the watch bar. <laughs> well, um, maybe I'll go to colors and fonts and and just walk through that real quick. Okay, horizontal. These are these are new down here since they made the horizontal navigation type of new. This is even newer because the drop down is newer. Okay, this is what I'm going to talk about with the uh, the links. Let's see, background color. For instance, I can make it. I haven't really thought of the color scheme of this website. Uh, probably go with like I don't know, green or something. Notice here the uh, hex code. You can create. You can find out a hex code. I think you do a Google search about color hex codes, and uh, you can like make custom colors. You don't have to use these ones. Just so you know. So if it doesn't match your uh, color scheme exactly. You can you can modify those to fit a custom color. Okay, um, I'm going to do a different text color because that looks really ugly. Okay, you can't even see that. Eh, no, I don't really look good either. <laughs> I'll just go with white. That's fine. And as you can see, my link disappeared because it has a white background for the selected background color. I will make the selected background color lighter. That, that, it's good to go either like lighter or darker for like the selected one that you're on. I think I like darker just because it makes the white pop out a bit more. Okay, um, and then I'll mess around with hover, hover background color. I'll make that the lighter option. And I'll make, uh, I don't really care to change the hover text color those are just going to stay white. I think. Let's just make sure it stays white. <laughs> and I don't have any drop down menu thing colors or modifications to make yet because I didn't indent or outdent anything. So that will be for a later time. Uh, and I think I'm probably running out of time, s speaking of that. Okay, so saving. And you can see here, and let's click on that blog just to get a little. Uh, Boom! Takes you to my wife's blog. Pretty cool. Okay. Um, I'm just going to cut it off there. Why do I still have these down here? Those things totally annoy me. Okay. Save. Boom! You know, it, it's... 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 Um... Getting there. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, next time, I'll, I'll work on creating something, maybe around a background, so you can see that, and since I've mentioned it. Okay, uh, see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.